What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, LV Skinny. And today, I'm here to talk about how to make reaction videos, how to edit them, how to promote them, how to, you know what I'm saying, set up for them. Shout out to everyone that has been showing me love through this year and about six months process of me doing it. I've been, ever since I made the channel, I've been seeing hella comments telling me like, yeah, how do you, how do you make your reactions? I get DMs about it, everything. So I thought I'd give back, you know what I'm saying, and really make a video on how I did it. So yeah, let's get into it. All right, so yeah, number one, like I said, you're gonna need a laptop. Um, it can be Mac or it can be Windows. I've done it from the start on Mac, and then I started to learn how to do it on um, Windows, and I use Premiere. But also, a camera. A camera is essential. Like, I was using my iPhone for a little minute. It, it, it got the job done, but as far as like really looking like a YouTuber, really presenting a good image, you could get something better than the iPhone. Yeah, y'all gonna tell me, well, the iPhone got this part, it got this. Now, I, I understand, but I need to get y'all one of these cameras. Uh, I'm gonna try to put some links in the description of a good camera. The one that I'm thinking about getting is a Lumix camera. So, you know what I'm saying? Also, you wanna have a, a good setup, a good, good lighting, you know what I'm saying? Oh. Like this thing right here, it's a motherfucking light. Without that shit, nigga, this damn garage would not be lit at all. You wouldn't be able to see niggas. So that definitely helps. And also, right here on the Mac, you see QuickTime Player. That, what you got to do is hold it down and then go to New Screen Recording. That's going to be your screen recorder, like... You know what I'm saying? Y'all see me right here, and then y'all see the, the video over there. That's what you're going to do with the screen recording. So just remember that right there. And like I was saying about the MacBooks, they have QuickTime. QuickTime already comes on a MacBook, so you can easily get to it. I had to When I had a uh, Windows computer, I had to download Microsoft Expression. That was a little harder to use. I, I might have to do a, a tutorial on how to make reactions on a Windows type shit. Like a real in-depth tutorial about that. But something that I did leave out, it's good to have a good setup, but another thing that will really help, I, I could get rid of this, this shitty background right here if I had a green screen beside me. I could be motherfucking on the moon at the damn a studio, anywhere, you know what I'm saying? A green screen will really improve your, your image and your chance of really blowing up. You really got to have something that, that sets you apart from the other YouTubers type shit. Like, you could just... One thing I see, there's a lot of people, they blow up because of their laugh. They have like a, a stupid ass laugh and people people make fun of it, but they're like, oh shit, you know what I'm saying? That end up making them blow up. One thing that I, I do feel like made me blow up was, you know what I'm saying? Smoke blunts and shit. So you just got to really find your niche. I ain't saying to take my shit. I'm saying to, to, to find your own shit, you know what I'm saying? But yeah, um, another thing, like actually in the videos... You can be by yourself. I see a lot of YouTubers blowing up by themselves and stuff like that. But it's good to have niggas, you know what I'm saying? Mark, can you, can you scoot over a little bit? You know what I'm saying? I'm making a yeah, You know what I'm saying? It, it's good to have niggas with you that's going to really help you, help improve the video, make it funnier, help promote it, like, shit like that. So, yeah, um, I spoke about the programs. Final Cut Pro for MacBook, Adobe Premiere for Windows. Um, all right, now... I'm about to show y'all how to really like get into the editing process of it. So yeah, let's get into it. Alright, so now we're over here in motherfucking Final Cut Pro. Now what you're first going to do is click this little down arrow. That's to import your clips over. So, like right here we got more signal, you know what I'm saying? Right, so you see his reaction right there. You don't see the smaller clip with it. You see it just like... Actually, I don't know how this looks to y'all, but... So, you're going to see this right here. This is the actual screen recording clip, you know what I'm saying? Alright, so now what you're going to do... Get your actual clip. Mine already brought it to the desktop. Yours is more likely going to be in your uh, devices, under your memory card, or under your... Uh, wherever, you know what I'm saying, you save your shit at. So, what you're going to do... Find the clip. Find exactly where he's beginning the video and type shit. Hey, my nigga. So as y'all seen, he was he was setting up. He was still messing around with stuff. 
Alright, so so mine ain't gonna let me click it right here, the ins and out. But what you're gonna do, you see here it's about to start, you click I. Right. That's gonna chop off the the other stuff that you don't need. And then you go to the end of the clip. Nigga, I just press the pause button. Like that shit gonna cut the recording off. Alright, you know what I'm saying? Peace, my nigga. Peace. Boom, you click O. Oh. Those is your ins and outs. That means like it's gonna start here and it's gonna end here. So you set that exact perimeter. So okay, you got that clip, you got the screen recording. On Mac, you gotta hold uh command and that lets you select multiple clips with it. So boom, you bring both of those over. And now you can do the uh, ins and out over here. Peace money. Boom, so I click the O. Let's see right here. Do this reaction. And then what? he started. What's so you see it's right there. And you see it's right there. Amari currently doesn't have an intro. At, just like a lot of y'all upcoming YouTubers, y'all may not have an intro. So y'all just going, boom, jump straight into it, drop it down. You deserve it. What's good, you see when everybody about to shoot? So, so y'all see that right there. Okay. Now you're going to go down to your uh, the actual video. See where that begins at. Like right, right, like you don't want to click it as the video, so you want to a little bit before, so it gives you time to, you know what I'm saying, work around with it. So go to the ins and the outs on that. Boom. So now, you're going to drag this clip down. So you got that one, and you got this one. And, let me see if I got Amari's in here. Um, okay, I got this right here. It's me and Amari's custom tag. So what you're going to do, you're going to go over here, click this, the little drop down jank, crop. Get the LV skinny out of there, you know what I'm saying? Boom. So now I go back up to his file. You know what I'm saying? You can move it around like that. And make it smaller. And then you set that about like, about right there. So boom, you got that. You drag that the whole length of the clip. Whole length of the clip, make sure it matches up. See this? The smaller clip, and then that one, that's not good. So, what you're gonna do? I use the B on MacBooks. You can click B, and that's gonna bring up the blade tool. Click that, delete that, delete that. So, boom, you got the video, you got his tags on it, and you got the screen capture. So, now is the now is basically the hardest part of it all. It's the matching part where you gotta get them to to match up. There's somewhere about some of. So you see where they got to be my nigga to be number twenty-seven on trending, a million four hundred thousand views, my nigga. Yeah, we gotta see what you talking about, my nigga. So you see, they're they're kind of in the same area, but the video right here has started. Y'all don't hear no music playing, so that's not right. Hold on. You seen it, the, this video paused, he didn't yet pause. So you just gotta keep, you gotta match them, them things up basically. Huh. So I gotta drag that back son. Huh. Huh, gotta bring it forward a little bit now. Hold huh, on one second. Yeah. You see, when he hit the pause, it paused. So now check out the rest of it. Oh shit, sound right. <laughs> Sure. Once you got kind of the notes and the pauses right, you want to go to the, the lyrics where they're actually like rapping. Make sure those match. Come from poverty, man, we ain't have a thing. There's a lot of animosity, but they don't say my name. Them killers rock with me, yeah. little nigga don't it's get banged. Cause they had to do that job for me while I hop on a plane. She don't like her body, left the doctor with a new shape. Blowing up my phone cause she just seen me with my new bag. And... My my MacBook is pretty shitty. Y'all see it's moving laggy as hell. Y'all's is probably gonna move a lot easier, so it's gonna be a lot easier for y'all. I've been I've been struggling for damn honestly probably the, uh, the a whole year out of my shit with this shit. Honestly, a nigga probably should upgrade, but you know what I'm saying. I'm working with what I got. But yeah, you just gotta move this file. Make sure it's like a into like a square rectangleish type of file in the corner. Okay. Now you see, Amari's video is kind of in the middle, and there's a lot of extra stuff. So what you can do, it may make 
the person look different than what it normally would or whatever but just scale the clip bring it over a little bit to where it, it matches everywhere this shit fast as hell and then it what? looks like that so now you got your clip everything's a match now on the end say if you do music you do comedy you do whatever you could throw on the end right here another clip of you know say whatever you want to show off to your viewers for the next video so once you got everything finished click file share and then master file and then to make your uh your files smaller i might be able to do it right here you go to uh your video codec and y'all is probably gonna be set on um apple prores change it to h.264 it's gonna make it smaller make it faster you know what i'm saying so then you got your clip click next the artist name was little tj so boom say that then it's gonna take about depending on your speed and shit like that but it'll take about 10 20 30 minutes to to transfer over you see it right there it's a zero percent right now once that does come over that's when you're going to take it into handbrake that's a program you got to download once you got that open go into motherfucking open source you click that once you got everything set up you're going to go into your uh files the little tj it's going to be in this area but make sure you wait till it's finished or the shit gonna get fucked up so you know what i'm saying click that all right my shit said no valid source let me see um like this right here the um the actual copy i have for it yours is gonna be set on fast i typically bring mine to like very fast or something and then you just click start so that's gonna take about 10 15 minutes like when i do reactions i'm knocking out at least like three to five of them in one sitting so like as i'm going through doing all the editing i'm doing everything rapidly type shit so like that was making it from start once you really get your setup you know what i'm saying y'all gonna you can bring up this same clip and then boom say this right here say this is the one your next one that you got that is lv and amari <laughs> bring that one down that's gonna replace the other one all right see this i don't know if y'all still following on it, that that might have been a little confusing but basically once you got your set and everything already set up you got to, uh the tags the intro you got all your shit that you gonna have on every single video you can come up and load up um final cut and just replace everything and then rematch it to make the shit faster so yeah that's basically about it as far as you said really that shit editing. Well, that's nice to me <laughs> <laughs> i mean this YouTube man, I got I gotta really be nice. Man, that's basically about it. Um another thing that's gonna help is fiverr.com. I was honest honestly, I didn't know if I wanted to really let this out. I've known about this website for years, you know what I'm saying? The greatest website I never came from like came and seen. Shit really was like really five dollars on here. Shit's now about like seven because it's like five plus uh tax or whatever but as y'all see on the website thumbnails you can get thumbnails on here you can get motherfucking pictures you can get uh intros outros banners profile pic anything that you really need to turn your youtube up if you got that bread to spend it you know what i'm saying you can really make the shit happen i ain't going five. yeah fuck with five no cap you just go on to motherfucking youtube click this jank click upload video and then once it's uploading, you title it, you put the thumbnail, you do um another thing, get vid IQ. Go into your Google Chrome um uh store, whatever it's called, download vid IQ. Once that pops up, um like for this right here, you'll see this on the side, video tags. That will help like you can manually type all your tags in and shit like that but if you can find some good tags that you can put on your video it may help it get it pushed into the uh seo 
and get seen more. And what I say to be successful with this reaction shit, I recommend you shoot at least three to five videos a day, like when you're starting off, at least like 10 to 15 videos a week. Like a week, that's about like three videos a day, maybe more. But still, you some people look at it as, oh no, I might over, like, I might blow my channel up, I might do this. You ain't got shit anyway. You ain't got no subscribers. You ain't got none of that. Fuck it. You might as well put out 15 shits that's going, that might blow up. So, three out of the 15 really do blow up. And then you really, you know what I'm saying, you get subscribers, you getting everything off of that shit, you know what I'm saying. That, and that's really all it, that's all it is to it. You could slow down. Once you really feel like, okay, I'm a, I'm a known YouTuber, I'm pretty good, I ain't got to really grind as hard, I say do about one to two videos a day. Something smooth, not, not too crazy, you know what I'm saying. But uh, that's enough talking, you know what I'm saying. I appreciate y'all watching my videos. I appreciate y'all watching this video. Appreciate, damn, all the love and support and all the times y'all didn't send my shit to celebrities. Oh, what, before I finish that video, that's another thing. You gotta, you gotta really promote your shit. Like, it's one thing to put out a reaction, but if you can put out the reaction, go on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, you could post your content, but you're just gonna be posing it to your fans type shit. And if you ain't got no fans, you're just bullshitting around. So what you're gonna need to do is post it and maybe tag the artist. Actually, fuck that post shit. What you need to do is DM them. You need to tweet them you need to really put it out in the public to where they have a chance at retweeting it seeing it like getting a celebrity to really fuck with your reaction is going to be the main thing that will blow your channel up and make it to the next level you know what i'm saying so yeah man i appreciate all that y'all have done for me if if this video has helped y'all and y'all feel like y'all can make something out of it definitely i really i really want y'all to do it you know what i'm saying so yeah, man, like I said, I appreciate it all. Make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe, all that. Till next time, YouTube, I'm out.